The mask-wearing agitators gave a two-week ultimatum for things to be done the right way. These agitators with weapons are not happy about how they are being treated by Ocean Marine Solutions, a company they claim is in charge of the pipeline security in the communities of Andoni and Ogoni. They say the federal government and NNPC should correct the anomaly. The Honorable Minister of Petroleum, the GND, NNPC and the Olu of Ware should warn their company, Ocean Marine Solutions. OMS in charge of the oil pipeline and oil facilities around Andoni and Ogoni, River State, and their collaborators are fake agents led by two imposters to stay clear from the assets of River State. Two, that if proper consultations are not done through the right channels within 14 days of this notice, the government of Nigeria should hold the Olu of Wari responsible for any damages done to the pipeline in the Andoni and Ogoni houses. However, some former youth leaders in Andoni and Ogoni called on the federal government, the NNPC, and Ocean Marine Solutions to listen to the agitators in order for peace to reign in the area. Because what we don't want in Ogoni now is violence. We don't want anything that will bring further environmental degradation of our land. Because you see how the federal government has struggled to implement the UNEP report, which they have set up the high prep to do. So anything that will cause crisis within the, the communities is something we don't want at all. So I advise that NNPC and whoever the contractors are should dialogue through the genuine channels, meet those ex-agitators from that uh, part of the uh, river state, from the Ogoni axis, from the Andoni and these other axis, and talk to them, talk to the host communities, so that the, their, their project will be smooth. Because if the threats we are seeing and hearing from all these uh, ex-agitators, if they carry it out, we are the people that will suffer the impact. I think uh, they are in place because uh, they have not gone into violence. They are saying government should call the subcontractor to order or they will take laws. And when they take laws into their hand, the government should hold the Olu of worry responsible for the damage. So my advice to the contractor is to do the needful, to try to reach to the appropriate authority in the terrain. Recently, the Nigerian government awarded contracts to some private firms to secure oil pipelines nationwide from oil theft. Tantita Security Services Nigeria Limited, owned by a Niger Delta warlord, government Ekpemupulu, also known as Tompulu. While welcoming the decision of the federal government to award the pipeline surveillance contracts to communities in the Niger Delta, members of Anduni and Ogoni communities in River State say they are the right persons to be considered for the job since they live in the community where the pipelines are situated.